One of the things that I've had clients have the hardest time wrapping their mind around with the QuickBooks functionality is the soft versus hard post. So if you're coming from an outside software, a different solution that has where you post, you you, uh, enter a bill and then you do a batch post to the GL, uh, QuickBooks doesn't work that way. QuickBooks does not do the soft batch or soft posting and then creating a hard post to the GL. The way that QuickBooks works is when you enter a bill, this date right here is going to be your post date. Okay? So if you're running your books on an accrual basis and you once you save a bill, it's going to post as a 516. If I posted this bill as a 516, It's going to post this bill to the accounts payable ledger. QuickBooks does not have separate sub-ledgers the way that most other uh, accounting softwares have. When you post it, the bill here, when you save it, that's going to post it to the accounts payable ledger as well as to the expenses. Okay? So, There is not a soft and then a hard post. It's just a hard post in QuickBooks, all right? The other thing that people have a hard time wrapping their mind around is changing previously posted transactions. So I'm going to go ahead back to this. Uh, This one was paid. Let's choose one that was not paid. Nope. All right, I'm going to go ahead back to this invoice then here. Let's say that this bill, once we go to cut the check or whatever the case may be, we noticed that we had put $200 in expenses, but it really was $300 for our freight. All right, this bill has already been posted. A lot of people ask, well, what do I do? Do I void the bill and create a new one? And that is a possibility to do. You can go in and say, edit, void bill. And then you can create another bill on top of it. But realistically, because of the way that QuickBooks does the posting, that would be an extra step that is not needed. In QuickBooks, you can just go in and change the amount. So if I come in here and I change, this bill was previously posted on 5.1. I'm going to go ahead and run my profit and loss standard here for 5.01. Okay, so you can see the $200 freight and the $900 in job materials here. That's the $200 in freight and then the $900 here. Um, And this is because it's a non-inventory part, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change this to be $300. All right, first thing that you have to make sure of right now, notice that the items don't change. It's still $1,250. The expenses change to $300. So if I try to save this right now, it's going to give me a warning because I never changed the amount due up here. Okay, saying this transaction is not in balance. Okay, so you can either come in here and change this to be $1,550 or you can click this little recalculate button down here and it'll change the amount due for you. All right, so once again, before I save this, notice the freight and delivery is $200 here. All right. And we're going to also go ahead and look at our AP Aging Summary for now. Notice that we have $14.50 in our AP Aging Summary for Larson Flooring. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this bill now. All right, so when that bill is saved, it's now posted. I look at my AP Aging Summary, it's telling me that I need to refresh my report. Notice that the AP Aging automatically updates to the new price change, $15.50. Also notice that the profit and loss automatically updates to the new price change. So where you would have gone in and voided the bill and reposted it, this is resulting in the same information as if you voided this and reposted it to the correct you know, the correct way. Instead, I just changed it right on here and it automatically updates my reports. Okay, so that is a little bit about the posting and the the reactions in QuickBooks to posting transactions.